Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, oh, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that thing back! St. Homobonus has not been looking down on me favorably. Who? Homobonus, the patron saint of business man. Say, he's giving me your just desserts. Poppycock, those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You need to listen to me while I try to tell you how to rob banks. Robin Banks felt more honest than this. Good job. Well, that's about what 
what you've been promising them. Keep your eye out, John. For a man of the people, he sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of legion people. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. There's quite a second up ahead. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Ratskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Uh, very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Ratskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John! It's not too far to Ratskeller Park! Let's go! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. 
Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Get back. He saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. 
Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick Cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. They're untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of... A a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Already we got you in for this way. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who are those fine specimens of humanity? Let's get this over with. Let's alone the all of it. Come on then, let's find this guy. You don't seem too upset about your friends getting killed. Life's too hot for my friends. And I'd have grown them fools. Their bosses is getting increasingly unreliable. 
I was the brains of the operation, as you can imagine. Yeah, it looks like you had everything perfectly under control back there. They caught me off guard on that one occasion, on account of a little tipper I allowed myself earlier in the day. So where's this gun of yours? That's what we're about to find out. Your pal Wes Dickens told me you had a machine gun. I did. That was part of the disagreement you witnessed back there. Them double-crossing bastards lifted it from me. Not far now. The team and masters are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bent slugs who think they're snakes. Come on, come on! You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Nah, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Master! Whoa, yeah. Now you dumb it. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I, I wants to tell you how much you means to me, how special you is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, then. We'll find your precious wood. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you? 
somewhere stuck between air and magnet. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It works like that at all, fella. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo start. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Creek. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spicy bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. And there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. Hey, you go get some bread! Even this up a bit!
Gee, I thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. There's a borrowed flatbed parked down the line. Don't let go of her! She's a beast! Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Sister, put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Oh, blimey. And I've come oh. to tell you, if you ever <laughs> pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh. oh. oh Mr. Marston. Oh. How are you? A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Oh. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gallon gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find uh, the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? You're barking up the wrong tree, lady. What you looking at? What? Just to the warehouse here in the 
don't make no hard case, you know. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hubble comes, Feller, by the name of... And he's got the ammunition we need? I think this was something with blood in his veins. Jesus, stop cracking, will you? I know about guns front, back, front. Look out for you, hard and fast. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. Shite up! Where are you going? I said I'd see you right, didn't I? This is it. Come on, Smiler. <gasps> Damn it. That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Fucked on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 shite. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, I... You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Thank you for your kindness, mister. I th 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 thought I, w I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. All right, let's get out of here while we got the chance. Let's go, we straight.
What have you got for me? Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 Shaky. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half more, you d d d dirty fu 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 fucking snake. Uh, bu 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Fuck. All right, hop on. I'll get this out of here. Are you coming or not? Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men with this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the dramas. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drape the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Machine gun had better work after all this. Get that pillar around the bridge. Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. That's all you put me through? It's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. <laughs> 